So this is why the virgin birth matters. So those who say, you know, the virgin birth, we can take it, we can leave it. It doesn't matter. All we need is Christ as our example. No, if Christ is merely our example and there was no virgin birth, then he stands condemned because Adam is his federal head, as are all of those who come by natural generation. However, because, thank you, because of the virgin birth, he is not under that federal headship. This is why his impeccability matters. This is why it matters that Jesus did not sin. A recent worldview survey found that some 45% of professing Christian teenagers believe that Jesus sinned during his earthly ministry. I, I know two things. Number one, they don't understand the gospel. And number two, they're not being catechized. The most basic catechisms deal with this. What kind of life did Christ live on earth? A life of perfect obedience to the law of God. L little bitty kids are asked these questions. But you see, we've come to believe that theology doesn't matter. Paul doesn't believe that. He believes that the doctrine of the resurrection matters on a very practical level. Because if you don't get this doctrine of the resurrection right, then you don't understand that you are under Christ's federal headship. And you don't understand the significance of his active and his passive obedience. That in his active obedience, he kept the entirety of the law and was actually righteous. Thereby, he's able to impute actual righteousness to you. And in his passive obedience, he accepts in himself the death that you owed to God but could not pay. Therefore, we can impute to him our sinfulness. And because of this double imputation, we stand before God under the federal headship of Jesus Christ, not only forgiven, but righteous. And we can actually anticipate the resurrection of our bodies.